I will never forget our son Demetrius. On days that my back hurt, he would put my shoes on and tie them up for me. He would come home from school and he would fix us something to eat before his father came home and cooked us dinner. He was always there for me and I for him. I will miss Demetrius and I have enough memories to last me a lifetime. That child stole my baby's life and he should never be able to do this to anyone ever again. Thank you. You're really lucky there's so many police in this room right now. You can smile all you want. My family will move on, not you. You have ruined your life, not to mention Adam's. He even gave you a ride. Nick even gave you a ride from school. He was thinking about inviting you back to the, to the table because he felt sorry for you. I feel sorry for you. Things I was looking forward to, I will never get to see. My baby brother graduates high school, go to college, graduate college, get married, have children. I will never be an aunt and my children will never know their uncle. I could go on and on about how many things the shooter has taken away from us, but the most important, <clears throat> but the most important thing is he took away the life of not only my only brother, my parents' only son, but the lives of two other boys as well. He took the lives of three young men who were doing what they were supposed to do, go to school. After today, I refuse to give him even a second of my thoughts. He is repulsive. We don't speak his name and we never will. He will be forgotten as he rots in prison. And I will be glad knowing his existence every day, every minute, every breath is controlled by rules and that he is away from society, locked up in a cage. improvement are immaterial. It means that whatever the future might hold in store for the mind and spirit of the convict, he will remain in prison for the rest of his days. Uh, this present case um, presents that same issue, whether this is life without parole uh, or the equivalent uh, uh, in years. Is it true that your counsel has advised against this course? Yes. And despite this advice, you your own free voluntary voluntary will wish to uh, reject that advice. Yes. Now you understand that this is the only opportunity that you will have to present information and mitigation of punishment. Yes. And they have offered to present mitigation evidence or information on your behalf, your counsel. Yes. All right. Do you want to make a statement? You can make it from where you where you sit. You can make it seated where you where you are, if you would. Take your time. Walzak, 
and the state would prove beyond a reasonable doubt uh, with respect to count six that the defendant uh, committed a felonious assault against Joy Rickers. The state would also prove beyond a reasonable doubt the firearm specifications contained in each of the counts one through six. All right, thank you, Mr. Lenny. You take issue with any of the statements made by Mr. Blake? No, Your Honor. Yeah. As to count one, do you plead guilty to honor about February 27, 2012, that you're out of county, Ohio, purposefully and with prior calculation and design, causing the death of Demetrius Hewitt, being aggravated murder? Yes. Do you plead guilty to honor about that same day that you're out of county of having a firearm on or about your person or under your control while committing an aggravated murder and displaying that firearm, brandishing it, or using it to facilitate the offense? Your Honor. On count two, do you plead guilty to honor about February 27, 2012, that you're out of county, Ohio, purposefully and with prior calculation and design, causing the death of Russell King, Jr., being aggravated murder? Yes, Your Honor. Do you plead guilty to on that same day and place of having a firearm on or about your person or under your control while committing that aggravated murder with respect to Russell King and displaying the firearm, brandishing it, or using it to facilitate the offense? Yes, Your Honor. As to count three, do you plead guilty to honor about February 27, 2012, that you're out of county, Ohio, purposefully and with prior calculation and design, causing the death of Daniel Parmentor, being aggravated murder? Yes, Your Honor. Do you plead guilty to honor about that same day at Geauga County, Ohio, having a firearm on or about your person or under your control while committing that aggravated murder and displaying it or brandishing it or using it to facilitate the offense? Yes, Your Honor. As to the fourth count, do you plead guilty to honor about February 27, 2012, at Geauga County, Ohio, purposefully engaging in conduct, which if successful would constitute a violation of revised code section 2903.01a, attempted aggravated murder with respect to Nate Hewlett, the same being attempted aggravated murder, a violation of revised code section 2923.02a, and being a felony of the first degree? Yes, Your Honor. Do you plead guilty to honor about that same day at Geauga County, Ohio, having a firearm on or about your person or under your control while committing that aggravated murder and displaying it, brandishing it, or using it to facilitate the offense? Yes, Your Honor. As to count five, do you plead guilty to honor about February 27, 2012, at Geauga County, Ohio, with purposefully engaging in conduct, which if successful would constitute a violation of revised code 2903.01a, attempted aggravated murder with respect to Nicholas Walter, contrary to and in violation of revised code 2923.02a, the same being attempted aggravated murder, a felony of the first degree? Yes, Your Honor. Do you plead guilty to honor about that same day at Geauga County, Ohio, having a firearm on or about your person or under your control while committing that aggravated murder and displaying that firearm, brandishing it, or using it to facilitate the offense? Yes, Your Honor. As to count six, do you plead guilty to honor about February 27, 2012, at Geauga County, Ohio, knowingly causing or attempting to cause physical harm to Joy Rickards by means of a deadly weapon or dangerous ordinance in violation of revised code 2903.11a2, felonious assault, a felony of the second degree? Yes. Do you plead guilty to honor about that same day and place of having a firearm on or about your person or under your control while committing that felonious assault and displaying the firearm, brandishing it, or using it to facilitate the offense? Yes. When you signed this separate written plea agreement that you referred to earlier, did you plead guilty to these charges and specifications and cause it to be filed by your counsel with the court? Yes, Your Honor. And Mr. Friedman, are you satisfied that your client is knowingly and voluntarily entering pleas of guilty with full knowledge and understanding of the ramifications of doing so to those crimes set forth in the plea agreement? I am not. And Mr. Lane, do you wish for me to accept your guilty plea to all the charges and specifications set forth in the plea agreement and as recited here in this courtroom? Yes, I do. And you admit that you committed the acts which constitute the crimes and specifications? Yes, Your Honor. 
where the court finds the defendant has made a knowing, intelligent, and voluntary decision to withdraw his plea of not guilty and not guilty by reason of insanity and the plea guilty. The court finds the defendant has been informed of all of his constitutional rights, that he understood the nature of the charges, the effect of a plea of guilty, as well as the possible penalties which could be imposed. Therefore, the court accepts the defendant's plea of guilty of the offenses of aggravated murder of Demetrius Hewlin, Russell King Jr., and Daniel Parmentor, the attempted aggravated murder of Nate Mueller and Nicholas Walczak, and the felonious assault upon Joy Rickers, and guilty with respect to a firearm specification and is charged with respect to each offense. The defendant stands convicted of each of the foregoing. The court is going to order a, and does order a, pre-sentence investigation report and take the minutes of that statement and assess the matter for sentencing. It will be, I think counsel has been apprised of this date and time, Tuesday, March 19th, 9 a.m. 9.30, Your Honor, 9.30. Excuse me. Correct, 9.30. Thank you. Fine, as we go, the defendant is remanded to Judge McCarty Safety Center. Counsel, I think we're in place on the record at this time before we adjourn. Mr. Blades, the court is. Yes, Your Honor. Your Honor, the state would like an acknowledgment by the defendant that he is withdrawing his previously entered plea of not guilty by reason of insanity. And also, it's my understanding that the defense would be withdrawing any pending motions at this time. All right. Mr. Friedman. Your Honor, that is correct. The motions are withdrawn and the plea of guilty does, but we also have an acknowledgment that the NGRI is, the plea of NGRI is withdrawn. Is that correct, Mr. Lane? Yes, it is. I thought I'd ask you that in my call. I'll call it the correct thing. Anything else I didn't ask? No, Your Honor. One other issue. In support of the defendant's guilty pleas, the state would like to offer four exhibits under seal to support the guilty plea. Those being State's Exhibit 1, which is the video of the offense from Chardon High School. State's Exhibit 2, which is the dash cam video from the cruiser when the defendant was arrested. Exhibit 3 being the defendant's confession at the Geauga County Safety Center. And excerpts of that video were previously entered into the record, but this is the complete video. And exhibit... Did you say those two for the one in the cruiser? Exhibits... Second one? Yes. There were only partials. There were only partials. These are complete. And Exhibit 4 is a disc containing a transcript of both the cruiser video and the confession video at the safety center. It's just a document transcript of those videos. Those are State's Exhibits 1, 2, 3, and 4 that we would like to enter into the record under seal. Any objections from the defense? No, Your Honor. In fact, as part and parcel of this agreement, we're aware that the videotape of the incident on February 27th would not be displayed and, in fact, would be admitted as an exhibit under seal with the court's approval. So, no objection. All right. The court will just accept those exhibits 1, 2, 4 and place them under seal. Anything else to place upon the record from the State of Long Island, Mr. Blake? No, thank you, Your Honor. Or from the defense, Mr. Cooper? No, Your Honor. Again, I'm going to adjourn. All those present, if you'd like to remain seated. Any defendant who is escorted out of the courtroom. And even thereafter, if you'd like to remain seated until you are released by the court.